Ooh. God, jeez. Okay. We're good. Don't worry about it. Hi. Welcome to... <laughs> this is a bad idea because I don't have a good audio or video or lighting set up yet, but, uh... I want to subscribe. Just spent a month in Japan, and it's great. It's actually not super great, but you know, it's it's been off to a, a rocky landing. It is really weird because every time I like these sunglasses, I can't see the screen with the sunglasses unless I tilt my head for some reason. Don't know what kind of black magic that is. You okay there, buddy? Okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So uh, it's been off to a, a little rocky landing, you know. You know those times where, like, you spend a really long time, like, trying to climb up a hill, and it's like, ah, this is, this is awful, and I hate it, but once I get to the top of this hill, it's gonna be great, and it's gonna be smooth sailing, and then you get to the top of the hill, and then you, you look out, and you see that there's another hill, and you're like, ah, fudge. So, you climb that hill... And then, you know, there's another hill and it goes on and on and on and it, it, it seemingly never ends. And I just had one of those moments. Because I was like, I, I went for school, school's awful, never go to school, do drugs. <laughs> okay, school was difficult, but it did, it got me up that hill, right? And then I got here and I'm like, well, I, I like it, I like this, this is what, this is what I wanted, being, being a teacher in Japan is, is great. But uh, you know, it's it's, it's it's got it's got some stuff. You know, it's 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 not it's not perfect. And you know, there's this, there's still another hill. And I'm not I'm not the type. But don't worry, I'm not the type to be content at a at the current hill that I'm on if I know that there's even a higher hill that I can get to. Okay? Am I still recording? Yes. <laughs> I feel like uh. Like a, a crazy monkey or something? Or a bird? Do, do birds do that? Oh no, a dog. Dogs do that. Dogs go, like, turn their head to get attention. And I'm, like, doing that so I can see the screen. But yeah, I'm not content with being on the current hill that I'm at if I know that there's another higher hill. I'm always gonna keep climbing. It's never... I never... I can't stop. I can't sit here knowing that uh, my the, my life and my happiness and you know, my satisfaction out of life could be better than it is, but I don't want to achieve, I can't just not achieve that next level because it's hard. Because, you know, it doesn't matter. If it's hard, then, you know, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, if, if, it's, if it improves my life in the long term, then what is, what is a little challenge, you know? What is if it's not challenging, then it's not worth doing. I think that that get that like quote gets thrown around every so often. So this is this is this is a this is a uh, podcast vlog. I guess it's just a vlog at this point, right? It's just a it's just a regular ass like, uh, hi, I was in an Uber and my Uber said something weird and oh my gosh, I almost died. You know, one of those vlogs. <laughs> I don't know why that does it. Can you tell that I don't watch these kinds of things very often? But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna tell the story of the complete story of my first month ish in Japan because it has been a little over a month, and we'll get to that. But first, look at this. Isn't this neat? I don't know what this is. It's some sort of uh, alcohol. We're gonna we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna, we're gonna. It's it's a it is it's a weekend. I I haven't made any friends yet. Uh, which we'll get to later. So, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know what? We're gonna, you know, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. It'll be fun. I don't know how to drink cans. Have I ever mentioned that? It's okay. It's alcohol. <laughs> you know, a weird thing in Japan, there's always like this like braille. I don't know if you can see it, but like there's like braille on the top of the can. And I'm assuming... That's what is in the can, is the braille. It's like the name of the thing. But, uh, unfortunate for me, I can't tell... I can't read the kanji of the flavor or the braille indicating what it is. But I can read that it says alcohol, so it's, it's, uh, it's a good time. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not a huge alcohol fan, but, you know, it's, it's okay. I have this on my phone, by the way, like, because I can't remember anything. 
Like, I literally can't... I'm, I have the worst memory imaginable, which is part of the reason why I'm not so good, good on the kanji, you know? Am I still recording? Yes. Okay, so let's let's just start from the beginning, okay? August 2nd, which, yes, is more than a month, but shut up. We'll get to that. We'll get to that later. I meant to record this last weekend, but uh, situations occurred, okay? Situations occurred. My shirt will not stay up. <laughs> By the way, I also wanted to... Sh another reason I'm doing this, I wanted to show off my Evangelion t-shirt. Which is relevant because I was like, I rewatched that as like the first anime that I watched when I came back. So, you know, it's, it's great. Evangelion will always be relevant. It is, it is thematically relevant and it's timely relevant. At least to me personally. <laughs> so August 2nd, I left my house forever in Pennsylvania. And then I went, this part of the story I've titled Orientation Hell because, <clears throat> we're good. I, I, I burp on water, by the way. I don't know why. By the way, if you see me doing weird things with my hands, I don't worry about that one. <laughs> but yeah, I so I burp on water, so I don't, like, I burp on anything, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't know why people would be worried. But, okay, so I left my house on August 2nd forever, and I went to an orientation in Washington, D.C., where they were, like, going over the basics of, like, what is to be expected. And, like, basically all the orientations were the same. There's, like, a, there's been a billion different orientations. But, like, the crux of the orientation is... So, how if you don't know how the, the JET program works, the JET, like, hires you and then contracts you to a place in Japan. So, like, JET doesn't directly, like, do work with the day-to-day -day or, like, with your paycheck. Your you're, uh, whole, like contracting organization as we call it here does all of that so like but jet still does like all of the orientations and stuff so like basically the crux is that like they are not too sure what your situation's gonna be like so they just overly generalize and give you a general idea of what it's gonna be like to be a teacher in japan i mean and it's not it wasn't all incredibly unhelpful but like a lot of it was a lot of like the same you know like it was a lot of like yeah you should uh you know you should be a good teacher and you should try to make it fun and i'm like uh-huh <laughs> uh, though yeah another thing was like they required zero teaching or like japan experience and with me like i've done some volunteer teaching and i've been to japan before so like a lot of it was just kind of like yeah uh-huh uh-huh which is uh, useful for people who don't know, but, like, for me, personally, like, ugh. <laughs> it was awful. So I did or a one-day orientation in Washington, D.C., and the worst thing was, was the whole, like, let's shave off, let's, 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 let's try to fight off depression once we get out there, kind of those things. And they made us, like, write a sheet with our goals on it, and I'm like, oh, what is this, is this the first grade? Is this, is this college uh orientation freshman first day kind of this is this is some crazy so i was like okay whatever my thing is unplugged does that matter uh a little <laughs> it matters a little because this is how i'm getting power i swear i need i bought duct tape okay are you all are you all plugged in over there yes you are okay cool sick okay so basically, uh, yeah, and they were like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, Japan has, you know, has a lot of earthquakes and tsunamis, so, uh, don't die. And I was like, sick. So then I spent the night in D.C., and then the next morning, uh, I think August, Saturday, August 3rd, I went off to the plane, I said goodbye to, uh, cause my mom and our special friend came with us, <laughs> and... Uh, st uh, we all stayed over in the hotel and then they dropped me off at the airport and I said goodbye to them. It was very emotional and I went on on my way and, uh, the plane, again, I've done, the, I've done, I've been to Japan before. I've done the plane ride. I was actually, it was actually kind of like one of the better planes rides, like one of the better plane rides that I've been on and like one of the worst. Cause like it was, it was a straight 13 hour flight from like Virginia to, uh, Narita, right? But the, hold on a second. 
You see? I'm not, I'm not going to finish that, by the way. I hope you know. <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to be, but at this rate, I'm not going to finish that. <laughs> but who do I care if people think I'm an alcoholic? Does it matter? Does it matter? <laughs> But, uh, because I know I'm not an alcoholic. Anyway, yeah, so it was a straight 13-hour plane ride. But the issue was that there was a crying baby on the plane the whole time. And the baby did not stop crying. I think there were two babies. I want to say there was two babies. Because <laughs> the frequency from which they were crying, like, there had to have been at least two, you know? <laughs> so that was awful. And then we got to the airport, and there was, like signs everywhere of like because like most of the like 90 percent of the people on that plane were all like from uh on the same program right so then there was and there was like people at the airport with signs like hey hey everyone from jet go this way and they even opened up like there are like a customs lines just for us like to go through customs but because like 90 percent of the plane was was from jet like it, that line ended up being longer than the rest of the customs line, and it just was a big pain in the butt. <laughs> By the way, super upset. It's called the Jet Program, but they made us take a regular airplane. Like, what? Come on, man. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so we got there, and uh, we still had to get from Narita to Tokyo for, like, Tokyo orientation, because it was, like, two or three day Tokyo orientation. So we had to get on it, so we had to, like,. Spend forever, and we had to wait, because, like, it, it, it couldn't just... I wasn't, like, by myself. I was with, like, a hundred other people, like, on this plane trying to go to the, uh, the orientation. And, like, there was a lot... There was actually a lot more than a hundred people. Like, total, I think, this year was, like, 2,000, and that was sort of, like, split up into three groups. And I think I had, like, one of the largest groups. So, like, I think it was, like, 900 people all arriving at the airport and going to the same place. So, it took it took a while. It took a while, I, I, I'm gonna say. But, uh... <clears throat> What happened then? Oh yeah, we took a bus, and then it was like super late, because we've all been up for like super long. The British people had it worse, by the way. The British people had like a, a upwards of like 20 plus hour flight with like layovers and whatnot, and I'm like, that sounds awful. So we're all like dead tired, and we're on the bus, and we get to the hotel where the orientation, the Tokyo orientation is going to be, and then they're like, okay, you, we know you're tired, and you don't want to go to bed, but you have to... St- you have to listen to our little speech so you know what to do in the morning. I'm like, okay. So I'm like half asleep and we're listening to this speech and then I'm just sitting there and I'm like, is there, is someone, is someone kicking my seat? Why is, why is my seat shaking? Like it's going like this a little. And then I look up at the giant like glass chandelier that's above us and it's, it's also shaking and I'm like, oh, the whole building's doing that. And that was an earthquake. (laughs) So I'm like, not even like, one like day zero in japan we already have an earthquake and um and the lady doing the speech was very like uh she was like yeah it's fine don't worry about it and then kept doing her speech like it was no big deal and i'm like you know i i commend that <laughs> i commend that because like we just we all want to go we, we all want to go to um bed <laughs> but like i was okay with it i've been i've only i've experienced i experienced one earthquake in akita when i went but uh so I was like, oh yeah, it's fine, it's just an earthquake. But all everybody who's like in Japan for the first time has never seen an earthquake. As everyone's freaking out and like starting to run around and get out of their seats. And the, the lady doing the speech is like, everybody, it's fine. It'll, it's, it's, see, see, it's already over. It's fine. And I'm like, okay. So yeah, and then, so then after that, I went to bed and then did uh, like three days of orientation. Or two days of orientation and then a travel day. The two days of orientation was like, yeah be like it was it was a lot of like repeated material of like this is what it's generally like and this these are like they're trying to cover like as many different situations as you could possibly find yourself in and so like maybe like less than 10 percent of all that was relevant to me and then halfway through the second day i started to get sick because of course i did because there's like 900 people there like, and there was planes and stuff, and it was, so, like, somebody, somebody had to, uh, on, of those 900 people had to have been sick. <laughs> so, it got me a little sick. So, and then, like, the third day was tra- actually traveling to, like, separating and going to our different prefectures. So, I met up with the Fukushima people. By the way, that's where I am, Fukushima. Not, 
a nuclear wasteland. That was the first thing that like I got the I got the email notification saying you're going to Fukushima, and then a follow up more notification from the other English teachers in Fukushima, like saying that don't worry, it's fine, everything's fine, don't freak out. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, like, uh, fortunately, it has been, like, over nine years since that tragedy happened, so, like, things are, like, more or less, like, fixed, you know? There's a couple, like, there's there's still some stuff that, uh, you know, needs to be taken care of, and I think they have volunteer opportunities to, like, clean up nuclear piles of things or something. No, I don't think it's nuclear things. I think people just have, uh, like, evacuated, and then they're coming back to, like, overgrown houses so they're trying they want people to volunteer to help fix the houses and i do that i'll i'll uh, i'll look into that later but anyway <laughs> but yeah the only like bad like i'm like far enough away from it i'm like near fukushima city and like that's like far enough away from it where like there's not a like things are pretty much normal like they did it, it, it didn't even touch over here like so like and the only thing like you'll real the only evidence of it you'll see is like there's, like, some, like, radioactive, like, le like monitors every so often. Like, these, like, there's, like, little poles with screens of, like, what the radiation level is. <laughs> so, just to be like, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. Yeah, so we went off to, uh, we went on a bus. It was supposed to take, like, two, three hours, but it take ended up taking, like, an hour or two extra because, like, no, it didn't take an hour or two extra. We ran into traffic, so we had to cut our lunch break short. <laughs> So we were supposed to get like an hour for, or like an hour, half hour for lunch. And we had like 10 minutes. <clears throat> so that was fun. <clears throat> I don't know how to swallow, by the way. Am I missing anything? Oh yeah, there were Mario like characters like at, am I still recording, right? Yeah. There were, like, Mario, like, there were Mario characters. I might, like, put up pictures on the screen of, like, everything that happened. I don't know how much editing is going to go into this video, but, uh, I'm sure if you know online, like, they recently put up, like, all these, like, Mario characters saying, welcome to Japan, and that was, that was great, that was great. I like that, definitely good, good first impression. <laughs> but, uh, where were we, like, chronologically? <laughs> Oh yeah, in addition to me being sick during that two-day ori Tokyo orientation, they also never let us sleep because, like, so we all, we all, like, were on, we all, like, up for, like, 30-plus hours at that point, and then they're, like, and then we get there, and then they make us sit for a speech, and they're, like, oh yeah, by the way, you have to wake up at, like, 6 a.m. tomorrow, or probably even earlier, because they made us wear, like, suits and ties for some reason. I don't know why. There was nobody, like, I think, like, the the vice 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 like manager of the, the board of education of like and like a di billion different like like they might have been there but like I don't know why like they didn't take any pictures they didn't like I don't know they just like wear a suit and they're like if you don't have a suit then you're not allowed to come and I'm like okay <laughs> so uh, yeah I didn't get like any sleep during the entire time and it was awful and then uh, which is also probably added to me getting sick. <laughs> okay so uh we all took the bus and then uh we got to like the prefecture head office and then we all met um our contracting organization people i don't know why i put like quotes around contracting organization i don't like using like terminology and i don't know again i'm doing inappropriate air quotes i don't like using terminology and like abbreviations that other people say because like they all they call it co's and i'm like okay just say contracting organization it's not that hard to say you don't say it that off anyway <laughs> i don't know why i'm so anti uh terminology <laughs> i understand why it works i mean i understand why people use it because they're like part of a group you know if you if you're in the know then you know what co means but like i don't know <laughs> it also can get confusing if it shares if abbreviations share abbreviations with other things because like i think there was another abbreviation i don't remember what it was it was like as it was another one that was like asl which was like another like japan teaching terminology but it also means american sign language <laughs> so like it's I, it's it's dumb it's all it's dumb 
so we met up with our the people who were, were actually hiring us like our my actual boss like his my actual boss and his translator buddy were there and i met them and they're super cool you know i like them i definitely you know they i don't have like a super like mean strict boss you know like i don't see them very often because i'm employed i'm employed by like the city and um i go to different schools i like i go to three different schools but i'm employed by the city not by the schools so like the guy my boss works at city hall but uh like i never see him because i never go to city hall i go to the schools <laughs> so i don't know it's kind of weird in that way but I'll get more into school talk later. What time is it? Okay, I'm more concerned about the time than in, I am actually about the uh, length of the video. Cause I can I can edit the length of the video if it's too like long. Okay, did not choke that time. <laughs> I I need to go back to school to learn how to like swallow things because like I never like half the time I don't do it right and choke on it. But yeah, so him, the, my manager, uh, or like my boss, whatever guy, my supervisor, I think is his title in English. It's, uh, I'm, I'm going to make also get mixed up with the terminology and titles because uh, I know a lot of it in Japanese, not necessarily English. And sometimes they don't have like English equivalents, but uh, you know how it goes, man. I'm trying to like, again, every time I do this, I'm like trying to see to make sure that I'm doing it. So I'm like, I think my... For most of this video, my head's gonna be, like, turned like this just to make sure I'm recording. I could just take off the sunglasses, but, uh, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but, yeah, and he had a translator buddy, because he doesn't, uh, my supervisor doesn't speak great Japanese, and they're not, they weren't too sure of my level of Japanese. So he had, a, he and his translator buddy, like, drove me to, from, uh, Fukushima City to the place where, uh, we are. <laughs> And then uh, we talked, and it was great. It was, uh, you know, it was just like, oh, where are you from? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? You know, we got to got to know each other on the drive over. And then they showed me the town, and we got to uh, my apartment. And I was like, oh, it's great. I think I took a picture. I think, I think I was like, hey, no, we switched out translator buddy. There was like, there's like two translator buddies that work at uh, City Hall, and I think at one point we switched out translator buddies for some reason. <laughs> I don't remember why. You don't know. <laughs> uh, but again, it's been a while and I can't remember anything and it's not in my notes. So, uh, <laughs> but at this point I wasn't that sick. Like I, I felt it a little in my throat, but I was like, I was fine. So I, I walked around and, uh, well, I wasn't that sick, but I was a little like, uh, you know, like after running around doing like the physical, like not like physical exercise, but like, <laughs> But, like, you know, just a lot of, like, running around doing things. Like, showed me the town. Um, I saw my apartment. Like, all my bags and stuff got here. Because, like, from the airport, like, I had two bags on my person. And, like, a, uh, and like I had, like, four bags. And I sent one over to this place. That was, like, the big one. And then I brought the rest with me. Like, because I, cause I wasn't... I didn't trust that they'd send it over. But they did actually send it over. It made it... <laughs> You sit up. Listen, I know... I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Listen, I'm trying to record... I'm trying to record... Okay? Again, I hope my microphone's picking all this up. Can we check that? Can we check that? I can't see my mouse. Oop. I found my mouse. Hello! Okay. Anyway. <laughs> what happened after that? Oh, yeah, so... Uh... After that, they had, like, a big welcoming party at Conveyor Belt Sushi. I love Conveyor Belt Sushi. You don't know Conveyor Belt Sushi? You sit at a table, and then there's, like, a little conveyor belt on the side. Yeah, you can see that. My hand's not off screen. <laughs> yeah, I can't even get my hand off screen in either direction. So there's, like, a little conveyor belt that comes along that has sushi, and then when you see something that you like, you just take the plate, and then you eat it, and then at the end, the waitress, like, or the waiter... I'm sorry, I'm sexist. The, the the waiting person comes by and counts your plates and then uh, bills you for that. And uh, and uh, it's great. And it would never work in America because uh, people people would just shove uh, like the plates in like under the table or like in their purse, and so they wouldn't get charged for them. <laughs> it's a, it's an idea that uh, can be very easily like it 
if it wasn't Japan, it wouldn't work, you know? That's that's the magic of Japan. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so, yeah, so I left on Saturday and then got to Japan on Sunday and then Monday, Tuesday was uh, Tokyo orientation and then Wednesday was traveling and then getting to uh, the, the place and then, yeah, that's this, that was all Wednesday. <laughs> that we had like a big like welcome party and uh, i think i don't remember how many people were there no i do there was there was me there was my supervisor somebody else from city hall uh who had the same name as my supervisor which is uh, amusing <laughs> it's like the japanese equivalent of like john it's really <laughs> i like it I, was, I like how like they're friends like the two <laughs> people who are named the same are like are like are like friends you know enough to where they would both go to a, a, a welcoming party for the new uh, English teacher and two of the the two translator buddies from uh, that work at the city hall. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. But I was like, at that point, like my notice started to run. So I was like really like trying to be like trying to hold it together. <laughs> and then um, Thursday and Friday was uh, just doing chores, general like stuff. Like it's re- it was really helpful because my supervisor like basically helped me like boo like be here you know like we set up the phone we set up a bank account we like set up a but we did a lot of like tax paperwork and that was like just two days of just doing that so which is great and i liked uh like being able to just quickly take care of all that but i was also like really sick i, I wasn't like super sick but like my nose was like kind of running and my throat was kind of feeling it so it was not it was not a, it was not a fun good days but then, uh, I had a three-day weekend, so, uh, because of, uh, it was, like, a holiday on Monday. I think it was, like, Respect for the Dead Day or something. I'm not 100% sure. I need to look that up. <laughs> because, uh, I need, I wanna, I wanna be knowledgeable of the Japanese holidays, you know? It's part of, it's part of, it's part of, uh, learning, you know? Anyway. So, yeah, I took advantage of that to, uh, not die. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> is what I did. So I I just sat I just sat around, like I hadn't set anything up. I was just sitting on my bed with my laptop, just like dying the whole weekend. <laughs> so that was fun. <laughs> uh, and then Monday, five. No, yeah, no. Monday we had off. Tuesday, the first half was him, my supervisor, going and showing me around, uh, like Fukushima City itself. Because, like, I can, like, take a train to Fukushima City. And I needed to do that because uh, there was another orientation the following week. And I'm like, great! And then, so that was the first half of the day. And then the second half of Tuesday and then Wednesday, Thursday, uh, like, all the stuff was taken care of. And I was technically, like, on the clock. But school wasn't in session, but they still wanted me to, like be working so i had to like just sit at a desk at city hall and like prepare lessons and do other work related stuff like studying japanese is also work related stuff because like i'm in japan so like it would benefit my work life to know more japanese so i basically just did that and it was really effing boring and i hated it (laughs) and then next week um tuesday it was a three-day orientation I, oh yeah, and on Friday I used uh, one of my twenty personal days of the year, cause cause I was like, okay, now that I'm not sick, I want to fix up my place. I want to fix up everything. It'll be great, you know. I got the couch, cause this couch, I got a cover for this couch. That wasn't that wasn't until later, but like this couch was really gross and disgusting. So I basically took, I basically had to like clean it off and then put like a sheet over it. <laughs> but then I actually got like a like a couch cover. I don't know. Can I like take this off so you can see? The, the, the oh look at that can you see that oh yeah look at that that's not that's not very pleasant looking Ugh. i'm sure it was pleasant looking when it was new but now it's just like a, a gross stained gray <laughs> but i very much like i like that there was a couch you know i i didn't really talk about the apartment the apartment is uh, a good right yeah something that i forgot to mention is that i gave this place like an actual name because i like when like places and houses and apartments and stuff have names so i've dubbed it the gaijin sanctuary 
because it's like a little gaijin meaning foreigner and it's like a little place that i can a, a reprieve that i can come to and after you know uh after being out in the hard cold dark world or not even in the cold hard dark world because it's, it's not it's not that it's not that cold and hard and dark you know what i mean but it's just a nice little you know sanctuary to come back and be like to rest you know i like it the gaijin sanctuary also, uh, there is my daughter back there. She was just off screen the whole time. <laughs> I was just checking, checking the time. The The apartment is good. It's like, I'll just, I'll give like a grand tour later. This is, this video is already kind of like packed up enough as it is, but it's basically like three big rooms and, uh, yeah, I like it. Like there's like a, a kitchen bathroom like area over there. And then there's like a middle room that has like a closet and stuff in it. And then this is like the bedroom. I might, I, I, and basically so far I've only done like the bedroom and I'll, I'll send, I'll, click, I'll, I'll put a picture in if I remember, but basically, yeah, this is not where like the couch normally goes. I, I moved to the couch to have an interesting background because otherwise it would just be like my bed and air conditioner. But, like if I have here, then I have like this cool, like Japanese looking like glass door and I have like my figures over there or mostly plushies. <laughs> I also have these in case you can't tell what this is. This is what this is. <laughs> it's a uh, Kid Icarus Uprising figure. I I saw I saw a used 3DS in Kid Icarus Uprising, a Japanese copy in a Japanese 3DS, and it was like two three hundred dollars total. And I'm like, do I want to spend three hundred dollars to like? It wasn't like it wasn't three hundred dollars, but it was like the equivalent of three hundred dollars in yen. And I'm like, do I want to spend like three hundred dollars to play Japanese Kid Icarus Uprising? I think about I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I might. But anyway, yeah. I do I'll do a tour later, but I do like the place, but it did have like a lot of like the previous tenant stuff in it cuz basically like they moved out like the week before I moved in cuz I like I replaced someone cuz Jet only lasts like 3 to 5 years. I think shorter if you want it to. But uh yeah, so, but the person before me was here the full five years, and then they had to, they had to leave. They had, they had to get a replacement. I don't know why they want to continue to replace people. I guess just to have, like, fresh blood or something? I don't know. I have a, I have a, I have a bunch of conspiracy theories, uh, because, like, Jet is, like, a run, is, like, funded by the Japanese government, so I have a lot of, like, conspiracy theories for why they, like, do a lot of the weird things that Jet does. <laughs> But anyway, we'll get into that. <laughs> we'll get into that. That that's a thing for another time, man. That's a thing for another time. Uh, what was I going on about? Yeah, so I had a lot, a lot of the previous tenant stuff in there, uh, and some of it was useful, like the couch. I definitely would take the couch and the little like computer desk there, and like this thing. Once I cleaned it everything off, it was really dirty, but I had to. I cleaned everything off. But there was still like just piles of trash, because <laughs> like I think. Like, they did do a little cleaning. Like, it wasn't, like, a complete pigsty. Cause, but, like, they didn't, like, throw anything out, I think, is what happened. And the previous tenant thought they were. So they just bagged up a bunch of stuff and, like, put it in the corner of the room thinking that it would get cleaned up before I would get here. But it wasn't. <laughs> so I just had a, a pile of, piles of trash sitting in the corner of the house for a couple... The apartment for a couple of, uh... Weeks. <laughs> It is an apartment, by the way. But it, uh, obviously. Uh, not too bad price. I'm not 100% sure about the price, about the rent. But I'll, I'll get, I might look, look up the specifics. But I remember looking at it and being like, oh, that's not bad. <laughs> I'm way behind in my notes. Do, 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 do. I filled the fridge. <laughs> okay, so talk, so orientation in Fukushima City was three days, and it was just the same thing from the previous two orientations. I was like, okay, it was uh, and it was, and this time instead of just being like in the same, like the Tokyo orientation was in the hotel that we were staying, so it was great. But this one, like. I had to t it was like a 20 it was like 30 40 minute commute from to get to my apartment to the orientation in Fukushima City so it was kind of awful <laughs> but uh I got, I got to meet people like in my area you know <laughs>
So that was fun. We had a uh, we had they had like a good big get to know you drinking party, and that was that was fun. And then on <gasps> I see a cat. There's a little cat like walking by over there. Magish. I love it. Taking a picture. I'm taking a picture. Okay. I'm sorry, I got distracted by being outside. Like, my window, my, like, my balcony is, like, right there. So I can, so, like, I can see, like, the ground over there. And there was just a cat walking by. I've seen cats walk by before, but I think that's a different cat. That was, like, a white cat. That was, like, a, a tabby, like, orange cat. Anyway. <laughs> what was I saying? I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. To orientation was awful <laughs> but uh you know i got to meet people and then on thursday i actually got to go to, like i got to like i've been to the schools before like during like the last week like i uh went to all the schools and i said hi to everybody and met the met the principals and i was like hey what's up i'm the new i'm the new guy how's it going <laughs> i'm i'm the new white guy how's it going <laughs> But, uh, but on Thursday, I was actually able to, like, teach, you know? I did my, uh, self-introduction lesson. I have, a, I have, like, a big folder with a bunch of pictures of, like, me and my family and th things in America. And, uh, which I prepared beforehand, because they're like, oh, yeah. Like, because I, I, doing, during, during research for Jet, they're like, oh, yeah, as soon as you get there, you're going to need to do your self-introduction lesson. <laughs> and I'm glad I did that, because, like, um... I had to do it about 20 million times <laughs> because I had two, uh, I have two elementary schools and a junior high that I go to and there eat and all those three schools, there's like 10, 15 classes or something to that effect. So I had to do that like s upwards of like 50, 60 times and, uh, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was fun, you know, especially, uh. It was fun, especially the uh, elementary school kids were uh, a great, were great. <laughs> but I also like the the junior high kids. The junior high, it's de definitely a different vibe, you know. Like I'm not quite used to uh, teaching and interacting with the junior high students, because when I did like vol volunteering teaching, I just want to make sure this is flat. It, it looks like it has like weird a weird design on it that looks like it's been like badly folded. But like I think it's just the design. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Yeah, so, but, like, when I did my volunteer teaching, or, like, when I've done teaching before for, like, school and volunteering and whatnot, it's mostly been with elementary school kids, so I kind of, like, am used to them, but I've never really dealt with, like, older kids before, so it was kind of, like, eh, I'm, I'm still working on it. I'm, I'm figuring it out, but I am good. I am good with kids, you know? They, uh, they appreciate it. My, one of my favorite things to do is, uh... One of my favorite things to do is to like, assume during my self introduction, I'd be like, "Okay, how how old do you think I am?" And I get a lot of I get a lot of uh, weird answers. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> my my the currently I've I've kept a total of this. The the record low was ten years old. <laughs> that was like the I think those are like the first graders <laughs> in the elementary. They're like, "Ah, uh, ten. <laughs> And then, like, even, there, like, when someone shouted that out, even the teacher was like, hey, man, that, he can't be 10. The fourth graders in this school are 10. <laughs> you will be 10 in, like, three or four years. You can't, this, this dude cannot possibly be 10. <laughs> and then the highest, the highest that I got was, okay, okay, listen. I want you to, I want you to, I want you to look me, I want you to look me in the eyes and tell me, and, and tell me, do I look 57? <laughs> Cause that was the answer, and I'm like, "Are you sure about that one? Do you know your numbers?" He said it. He said it in Japanese, not in English. In Japanese, in his native tongue, he said 57, <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe not quite, not quite, a little, a little off, just a little lower, you know." <laughs> but uh, you know, maybe maybe by maybe by the end maybe by the end of uh, my time here, I'll look 57, you know. <laughs> And uh, that that guess won't be so far off. Anyway, but yeah, again, I like I do like being I do like being a teacher. You know, it, it is it is that's why I, that's part of that's like half the reason why I came here because I do just like legitimately like the job of being a teacher and you know making learning fun. You know, because I 
Because uh, growing up, man, learning was not very off, very fun, very often, you know. But when it was, I've I've had I like during my childhood, I've had like one or two teachers that just like made learning fun and just like made my life a billion times better to be at school that day, you know. And I I wanna I wanna I wanna give that back to the world, you know. I wanna I wanna make I wanna I wanna help, you know. I think I, I've I've ranted about this before, but uh, I like I like being a teacher. I say as I down a can of beer. I don't know if this is beer. It tastes like... It tastes closer to, like, sake, than, like, actual sake than beer, okay? I don't know. If, does anyone know what this is supposed to taste like? I think it is just supposed to be beer, but, like, a sake beer. It does say, like, sake in the corner, but I don't... Hold on. Yay. <laughs> but I don't know, like... I think sake in Jap Japanese is just a general term for all alcohol. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I might. The, I'm teaching stories need to be uh, another day because like I have a lot of them. <laughs> although, uh, yeah, although it is, it's not all uh, candies and rainbows. Like first of all, the junior high school is up. Okay, so I have a bike, right? I have like a. A bike and like the schools are all like 10 15 minutes away the two elementary schools are like 10 15 minutes away right <laughs> you would you would know this if you watched the uh, Nintendo direct reaction video where I'm like okay I gotta I gotta be at school in like 10 minutes so I left and then I, I made it there <laughs> I think I made it there with like a minute to spare <laughs> but uh but that was that that was the two elementary schools the junior high school is up a large hill so I can bike like halfway there and then I get to the hill, and then I have to just walk it up, and it takes like total like a half hour. It's awful. <laughs> but I only, ha but again, because I go to three different schools, I really only have to do that like two, like once or twice a week. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's a good exercise, you know. Biking's good exercise. I'm still like somewhat debating on getting like I don't know if it's worth getting a car. It wouldn't be worth it for the money. It'd be I don't know like because the only time I would use it is like. Maybe to go to the junior high and, like, to take, like, trips or whatever. Because I am vaguely close to Sendai. I haven't been to Sendai yet. It is, like, apparently not, like, two, three hours train ride from Fukushima City. So I should do that. But, uh, I think by car it would be, like, an hour or two. <laughs> like, an hour and a half. So I don't know. I probably won't get a car. <laughs> I might get a scooter. Could I get a, can I get a scooter? Is a scooter a good idea? <laughs> Because a scooter is just a straight upgrade to the bike, but I don't think that would, like, help my issue of, like, not being able to go to, like, different places, you know? So who knows? I still might get my Japanese license, because I have an international driving's permit. Driving's permit? <laughs> driver's permit. But, uh, that only, that's only valid for, like, a year, and I can't renew it if I'm in Japan. I have to get, like, a Japanese license. I might do that. Because I might uh, rent cars if I ever want to do a trip. That actually might be what I do. But taking getting getting a Japanese driver's license, from what I've heard, is not a uh, easy endeavor. <laughs> you know, it's uh, apparently like the it costs a lot of money, and the driving test uh, has like a ten percent success rate. <laughs> so we'll we'll think about that one. But yeah, the I think the main disadvantage of being at three schools is that it's hard to like get to know people there and like make like uh like central like community that i know like like regular people that i know it's a little isolating like not be being only seeing people like once or twice a week and not having like a regular people that i see every day you know but uh and it's hard to like make connections if i only see them very infrequently but uh eh, you know i'm i'm just I'm working on it you know <laughs> Again, I'm not, I'm not stopping, you know, I'm gonna, I just, it's gonna be harder, but, you know, I can, I can, like, I'll, I just have to learn people's names and, like, it'll take longer, like, cause, like, okay, so, theoretically, it, if it takes, like, a month to get to know everybody at your work and to be comfortable there, then, because I'm going to three different places, then it'll take, like, three months, right? Theoretically, that's how it should go. But uh, it might be harder because there's like time in between. So like, eh... this also doesn't help because like 
all the ing- all all the like it's also hard to make connections and friends because all the like English teachers like I don't run into them. There are other there are other like English teachers like around Fukushima, but like I never necessarily like run into them at all. So like I need to like go out I need to start making efforts to go out of way, my way to make more friends is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> Even though, which is hard because I'm very antisocial and possibly autistic, but you know, it's fine. What the fu- Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> I actually forgot about this. So, okay, so that was like Thursday. So, like, or Fukushima orientation, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What the hell time is it? Okay. Fukushima orientation, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then school's Thursday, Friday, and then Friday there was a another like drinking party because the first drinking party was just everybody in fukushima and then the second drinking party was everybody in like the the like subdivision of fukushima like because it's a big prefecture so they split it up into like five smaller sections so like that that was that drinking party like the people who are like relatively close to me and so that was a lot of fun there was trivia (laughs) there was trivia (laughs) And the only tri- like I was in a team, and the only trivia answer I knew was uh, uh, what was the name of the anime to promote Fukushima City, or like not just Fukushima in general, and I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> that is a thing, by the way. That's one of the first things I learned when I was getting to know my supervisor. He's like, "Oh, what are you doing in your free time?" I was like, "Oh, you know, I just play video games, watch anime. I'm a nerd. You know how it goes, man." And, uh, he was like, oh, did you know that, uh, did you know that Fukushima has an anime? And I'm like, what? (laughs) Excuse me? (laughs) And I was like, yeah, no, they, like, they have, like, a little, like, office. They have, like, a little, like, there's, like, a, apparently, like, a subsection of Gainax called Gainax Fukushima. And they work on this anime called, uh, uh, Masamune Date Nikuru. And, uh, yeah, it's just, like, it's, like, a, it's a, it's released free online, unsubbed, but, you know, you can find subs if you look for it. And it's just, like, this web show, and it's, uh, it's great. I'm, (laughs) it deserves its own video, honestly. But it's basically just, uh, like, it shows the history of, like, the, the, the Date clan in Fukushima. And, uh, like, all their, like, efforts. It's, like, basically, it's, like, a history show. It's, like, a history, like, piece. But all the characters are cute boys. It's just a cute boy history show. And it's great. (laughs) I love it. And it is low budget. And that's also why it's great. But anyway, uh, so after the, uh, the Friday drinking party and the trivia, I went back. And then so I was like wandering around Fukushima. It's like 1030 at night. And then I just run into these two women who, like, in broken English, were like, oh, you, you would do, hey, do you, do you want a massage? Do you want a massage? And I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> 10.30 at night? <laughs> at 10.30 at night? <laughs> do I want a massage? And I'm like, hmm, this seems, this seems a little, this seems a little suspicious. And then I remembered that somebody was, like, saying the other day, it's like, oh, yeah, I almost got that uh prostitution that is illegal in japan but they try to get away with it by like having suspicious massages and then once you are behind closed doors in the massage place then uh shady illegal things happen and so i think i think that's what they were doing i think i think these were um they were uh they were working women they were they were they were making they were making pay and, uh, yeah, I don't know, that was, uh, that was, uh, kind of insane that I just kind of ran into that and they were just like, yeah, hey, you want to, you want a massage? <laughs> like, I can tell, like, if they were being, like, like, how obvious they were trying to be about it, because as soon as I heard them say, do you want a massage? Like, I couldn't, I couldn't tell, like, if they just didn't know how to pronounce English or they were trying to, like, say massage do you want a massage is that what you want (laughs) but uh yeah no no i said no i was like no i'm good i got a train to catch i got a train to catch because it was late and i didn't want to miss the last train (laughs) well like the second to last train because you know i always have backup plans always have a backup plan (laughs) live recklessly and have backup plans that's my goal 
that's my uh, motivation for the day. Actually, my motivation today is uh, always climb the next hill. You know, never give up. Never, never settle with less. Do, 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 do. Uh, this is almost over, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, oh yeah, so, okay, so that was on August 23rd, the Friday, and then, like, next week on August 28th, uh, I got rid of the trash. Woo! I just, what I did is I just, like, organized everything, because Japan, you have to, like, organize all of your trash. If I'm almost done, hold on. There you go, man. I'm still not done. <laughs> So in Japan, you have to organize your trash, like burnables, plastic, cans, pots, effing uh, cardboard, bottle caps, you know, it all has to be separated. Like cans, bottles, I think I already went through all that, but like, yeah, it's a, it's a huge pain in the butt, but uh, I, did, I mean, I, I like it, I like it conceptually, because like, yay, environment, let's not kill the environment, <laughs> you know, like, because I'm, because you know, like, uh, all these just throwing garbage into one big pile can't be, uh, it can't be good, you know? We're still, like, making garbage, but, like, making it less, making it, like, making it more manageable is always a good thing, you know, by separating it. But it is a pain in the butt, because, like, they only collect certain things, like, once a month or something, like, once a millennia. <laughs> so I, I separated everything, and I realized, wow, you know, if I want to get rid of all this, I'm gonna have to, like, it's gonna take, like, a month or two, because I just have to wait until the day comes by where they pick it up, you know? And I had an idea. So I called my supervisor and I was like, Hey, um, can we, do you have a car, right? Can we, can we go down to like the dump? Can we go down to the dump? No, I think I had that idea, but like I went up to him and I said, yeah, I have a lot of trash and it's going to take forever to take it up. And he's like, Oh, you want to go to the dump? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> like he offered, like I had that idea in my head. Like, Oh man, if I could go to the dump, that would be great. So I was just complaining to him about it. He was like, oh, how are you settling in? And I'm like, yeah, it's great, but I have a lot of trash everywhere. And he's like, oh, you want to go to the dump and just take care of that? And I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so we went down. So then, like, another day, like, when he was free and the dump was open, which took a lot of coordination, <laughs> uh, he was like, so we went, he, we just loaded up his car and we drove down to the dump and got rid of it. And it was great. It was a, it was a good feel. It was a good feel to get all that trash out, you know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was great the fudge happened ah oh, fudge dude <laughs> so uh i'm trying to figure out this is uh the first week of september okay the first week of september i was like okay i want to make this video <laughs> because like that would be like i got here the first month of august and i so like the first month of september let's make let's make a first month in japan video we're still calling it the first month of japan by the way it's not it's happening, okay? It's happening. Because <laughs> it's still take. I'm still talking more or less about the first month. It's just added a week, okay? But yeah, the reason I didn't make it last week is because, uh, I got sick again. <laughs> like, I'm not one to get sick very often, but, like, I've gotten sick twice. And that's just, like, to be expected because, like, the first time there was, like, a hundred people. Not a hundred, like, nine hundred people. I was exaggerating by saying nine hundred, by saying a hundred, but I'm like, wait, I'm not... I'm under exaggerating, under exaggerating, unsaggerating. I don't think that's a word. I'm an English teacher. <laughs> unsaggerating because it's actually effing a nine hundred people. So that time, yeah, obviously I got sick. But then the second time was like, yeah, well, that happened to me when I was in Akita too. Because if you don't know, I spent a year abroad in Akita from like summer of 2017 to summer of 2018. And there I got sick like a hundred times <laughs> because it's just like, and I usually don't get sick. I'm usually pretty good. I can go like a year or two without getting sick. Like I've gone like plenty of times without getting sick, but like just when you move to a new place, like there's all, there's a bunch of new like germs that your body's not used to, you know? So like something that like, so like it might be a minor variation on like a cold. So like if you've lived, if you've suffered that cold before, then your body's used to it and and can like fight off the minor variation but like if i if it's completely new to me and i've never seen any variation of this cold my body has not seen any variation of this cold then like yeah i'm gonna get sick so like when you move to a new place it's just expected that it, it's gonna take a while <laughs> so yeah i got sick 
So then, but, so, then, like, it was, yeah, it was bad. It was like my nose and throat again. Again! Again! <laughs> so I, I spent the weekend resting that off, and then, uh, on Monday, we had a typhoon. <laughs> like, Japan got hit with a typhoon, if you're not aware. Typhoon, it had a name. What was the name? I wrote it down. Faxil? F-A-X-A-I. Faxail. Fax, Faxail? Faxail. Faxay? I have no idea. I think it's Faxy. Faxay or Faxil. Fa There's no L. It's I. F-A-X-A-I. But yeah, so there was a typhoon. Uh, and uh, fortunately it did not hit uh, Fukushima very hard. It mostly hit Tokyo, actually. Which is uh, unfortunate that the tornado aimed for the most densely populated part of Japan. The, tor the tsunami aimed for the most densely populated part of Japan. That That's just mean. That's just BM. But, uh, yeah, it was kind of awful. <laughs> but, unfortunately, we didn't get hit that hard, but there was still, like, winds and a lot of effing rain. So, they closed the schools for Monday. <laughs> and by that, I mean the kids didn't have to show up, but the teachers still did, including me. I asked my supervisor, do I still, do I have to go to the, do I have to take my bike to the effing school during a typhoon? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're a teacher. The teacher's gotta go. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So I went there, and uh, yeah, it was awful. And I didn't like teach any classes. That was an, that's kind of, kind of another like issue of uh, being a teacher that I'm kind of adjusting to so far is that I don't have sometimes some days some days I have like pack full of classes all day. I'm just going class to class to class to class. You know, I teach into this class, teach in this class, teach in this class. You know, sometimes. Some days it's kind of crazy, but, like, some days it's just like, yeah, you just got one class today. And so I'm like, well, what do I do for the rest of the day? And they're like, I don't know, dude, you know, practice, you know, work on, you know, work on stuff. <laughs> Prepare for your lessons. And I'm like, okay. Because that's the thing about, like, being a teacher in Japan, and I'm kind of, like, feeling those effects, is that teaching in Japan is, like, an all, a year-round thing, as opposed to in America, where, like, you, the teachers also get the summers off, but they don't get paid for the summers. But, so the positive of Japan is that you get paid year-round, but you're also expected to work year-round, even during the summers. So, like, and because I'm, like, kind of new, and I'm, I don't, like, I'm not that experienced with teaching. I've volunteered a couple times, but, so I'm, like, comfortable, like, in the classroom. But, like, when it comes to, like, making, like, lessons and stuff, uh, it's difficult. <laughs> Because it's, like, I, I'm not too sure what, like, I need to do yet. Like, what works. What, like, what what each class requires, you know? Because I'm kind of, like, going, like, class by class. Just trying to, like, w basically wing it for the, for the moment. <laughs> until I get, like, a good grip on what each class I need to do. But until I get a good grip, I don't know what I, what I need to prepare. It's, like, okay, prepare. And I'm, like, I don't know what the next class is going to be like. They need to learn letters. So, like... I don't know, and I'm also an assistant teacher, not, like, an actual teacher, so I teach with a Japanese teacher, and, like, in the room, uh, like, all, at all times. At all times <laughs> is in quotes, because legally I'm not allowed to be alone in the classroom doing it myself, because I don't have a teaching license. Like, I just have, like, a, like a, um, like a bachelor's degree, so, like, I have, a, I have with an education minor, so, like, and that doesn't, like, certify me to teach anywhere. <laughs> The, the, though the education minor will help me if I do want to get a t if when and if I do get a teaching certificate in the future anyway but yeah sometimes the teachers will just kind of like leave the room and leave me to my own devices and I'm like okay uh, this is technically illegal but you know I play loose I have a, I play on the edge of the law yeah don't know why I felt to take a swig there because uh as, as legal. It's 100% legal to have, for an adult to have a, a, a can of alcohol. <laughs> but you get the idea. Anyway, yeah. But, uh, I don't know, but it is difficult to, like, coordinate with the teachers, especially since I'm so new, to coordinate with the teachers and, like, figure out what I need to do, but, so a lot of the time I'm just kind of, like, sitting around being bored, <laughs> trying to desperately find things to do. That are work 
related, which is mostly uh like, I do I did I made a worksheet. I made a worksheet. It had Superman on it. They were the junior high school students were practicing, uh, to verb like go to school, go to read a book, you know. Uh, I forget what else I had, but like I made like a, a Mad Lib worksheet, and one of the things was I blank to meet Superman, <laughs> and uh, was one of the best ones. Oh yeah, the best one was uh, I want On Bond Man to meet Superman, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> I want On Bond Man to meet Superman too. On Bond Man is uh, a, like a, the On Bond mascot, I think. I think he had his own. I think On Bond Man had his own anime. I'm not a hundred percent sure. <laughs> on uh that's that's a that's a gap a gap in my knowledge is a gap a gap in my knowledge of uh japanese animation which is like children's shows that are not popular anywhere else other than japan i know doraemon and i know shinchan shinchan crayon shinchan is actually kind of po is popular in america be for different reasons than it is popular in japan in japan it's a kid's show but like in america it was like on uh tsunami as like with like as like with like adult humor and because they're like this is the only way that's gonna work because even the kids show has some adult humor in it but like japan has different like standards for like what they consider appropriate for children or not Ugh, anyway <laughs> how's it going um but yeah, so I made a I made a worksheet, but uh, you know there was there was a lot of like downtime, so I need to, I'll find I'll find things to do in my downtime, you know. But uh, yeah. Uh, again, not been off to a great start. This this is like officially the outro. It's not been off to a great start. Uh, there was a lot of orientations and a lot of sitting around doing nothing, and a lot of like the apartment is a complete disaster, but. I have been working on it, you know. I've been I got I got a couch cover. I I hung up my wall scrolls. I'm not going to move the camera to show off the wall scrolls because uh it is set up on boxes that could fall over at any moment. And I just I just did this. I just put up the wall scroll in this and I'm fixing my kitchen and I'm cleaning everything cuz everything's really dirty. And uh and but, and I'm I'm making I'm working on making friends and connections here cuz it is very isolating not knowing anybody. And uh, I'm working on uh, being a being a better teacher, you know, because I'm I'm think I'm, I think I'm doing okay so far. But uh, you know, I definitely need to find things to do to while I'm sitting around in between classes, not doing anything, you know. I gotta I have to make good use, you know. I'm I'm getting paid, I'm getting paid for all this out these hours at work, so you know I gotta I gotta use them, I gotta use them effectively. But uh, you know how it goes, man. Uh, I'll figure it out. You know, it's it's not easy. It's not no. I knew this wasn't gonna be easy. It's not no. Nobody said it was gonna be easy. How long have I been going? Cool. Nobody said it was gonna be easy, but uh, you know, uh, I'm working on it. So my future plans. What are my future plans again? Okay, so I'm going on uh like a an overnight canoeing canyoning not canoeing canyoning trip with some of the other uh, ALTs in the area. I don't know why I did this. I'm trying to like see them the thing. <laughs> So I'm going on a canyoning trip with some of the other uh, English teachers. Did I say ALTs? Because <laughs> I did not want to say ALTs. Assistant language teachers is what that stands for. <laughs> but I, I don't want to. I don't want to use it. I don't like it. In saying uh, the other English teachers in my region uh, is not that hard to say. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. So that should be fun. It should. It's gonna be expensive, but it should. It should be fun. You know, I'm trying to make some friends. I I want to make friends that I can just go and see on like a weekend, you know, so maybe hopefully those people will be close by to me. <laughs> so we'll, we'll figure it out. I need to figure out where everybody is, you know, cause I want to, I want, I want to, I want to make a friend. I can just call up and be like, Hey, you want to go, you want to go drinking tonight? <laughs> you know, I gotta, I gotta make, I gotta make connections. You know, it's, it's hard. It's especially since I'm antisocial and introvert and autistic and everything, but I, I, it's, it is something I crave. I need human connection. You know, I want, I, I desire, I want human connection because human connection is what makes us, is a, people affect the way that we beha behave in the world and the uh, people change who we are and how we view ourselves and like influence us in positive ways and can give you perspectives on who you are and what your place is in the world. 
and human connection is very good and a good thing to have. And you see why I wore this shirt? Do you see why I wore this shirt? Do you, it's relevant. I told you, Evangelion is always relevant. But yeah, you know, uh, but, you know, I want to make human connections, but uh, it's hard. It's really hard because there are just days where I'm just like, I want to run away. I, wa I don't want to, I don't want to do this. I don't want to, I don't want to, I just want to be alone. But, you know, I gotta, I gotta do it. I gotta do it, man. <laughs> I gotta do it. <laughs> anyway, uh. I, most most of the reason I wanted to wear this shirt is because it's a cool shirt and I've never shown it off in a, a video or a picture. It's a, it's a unit is unit unit. Oh look at that! Look at that! That's a that's a good shirt, you know, for a, for a hot topic anime shirt. It's not a bad shirt. <laughs> Obviously a shirt, hot topic, American store. I bought it before I went to Japan, but and I had to bring it. I had to bring it anyway. And it also contrasts with the with the red couch, kind of, kind of yeah, purple contrasts. It's a it's a contrasting color. But yeah, so I'm doing that. Uh, I'm continuing to try to... I'm doing the canyoning trip. I'll tell you how that goes. Uh, I'm doing... Because uh, I kind of want to make this a regular series. Kind of. Maybe a little. <laughs> because of just like general like interesting stories about Japan. Because I am... I'm living a, a, a out of the norm kind of lifestyle. And other people might be interested in that is all I'm saying. I'm interested in that, you know? <laughs> so, and I always go by the philosophy of make videos that I would watch. And, uh, you know, I'd watch, I'd watch this. Maybe I'd play this in the background. I wouldn't watch necessarily just watch me sit on the couch for, like, an hour. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'd, 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 I'd watch it, I'd watch it, you know, I'd watch it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, yeah, so I'm doing that. Uh, and I want to kind of make this a regular series and I'm also uh, trying to make friends and fix up the apartment like the whole middle room I want I'll make I'll make a tour at some point but the whole middle room is completely useless the kitchen is uh, still a disaster and this room is still not quite the way I want it like you see this tiny little pillow look at I need a I need a bigger pillow because I like just sitting here and watching an anime <laughs> like, again this is not where the couch goes I just had did this to have an interesting background but uh yeah and also uh this is not this is a long-term future plan like semi long-term future plan but my uh i uh, my family is uh planning to uh visit in the winter for uh christmas so that should be good so that should be good because i remember it wasn't bad when i was at uh when i was at uh, akita for college it wasn't like because i was uh, i didn't like like, my family did not visit, and I didn't go, like, at all, but, so I just did, like, Christmas by myself. <laughs> I had, I had just me and my good old buddy alcohol with, uh, with me for Christmas. You know how it goes, man? <laughs> I don't know if I had to, uh, alcohol. I think I, I think I, you know what I, I did? I made French toast, is what I did, and it was great. <laughs> and I, I got, I did some chocolate syrup, and it was great. <laughs> I think what is what I did. I either did that for my birthday. I don't remember, dude. <laughs> Again, I don't remember anything. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, but yeah, it should be nice to to have uh, my family here, and I also want to show them my place. You know, I want to. That's my goal to fix up this place and make some friends before they get here. So then, when they get here, I'm like, "Hi, what's up? I'm I'm a I'm a functioning adult." <laughs> Although I aim for that, but uh. In reality, when they get up, when they when they show up here, I'm just gonna be in the corner of the room in my underwear, eating a a a, a bowl, a cup of a cup of cup of ramen, and I'm just being like, I didn't mean to have to be like this. But uh, hopefully that won't happen. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I live like this. <laughs> I'm good. Anyway, how's it going? Let's, uh, we're almost done with this. We're actually almost done with this. There you go. I, I finished one can of beer in an hour. Are you proud of me yet, Dad? <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> anyway. It's just, a, it's just a funny thing to say. Just to, to pretend I have daddy issues. I'm I'm drinking alcohol, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go make some pizza. It's not a Japanese food, but uh, I had a uh, I, I had some curry rice the other day. That's also Indian. Ah, f um um. I had a uh, I had a uh, some 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 fancy uh bread filled with uh filling. I had oh, fudge. Wait, hold on. Bread is from France. Oh no. I had I had some ramen. Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Ramen's from China. Oh my gosh. Japan is a lie. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna go. So uh, I'll see y'all later in the next one. More uh, anime videos coming soon. Okay. I, I wanna. I wanna work. I wanna work on on writing on writing anime videos. So that's coming soon. Don't worry. Where's the? Uh, where's the? Uh, okay. There it is. Okay. Bye.